Jonathan Martinez joining us live at the swinging door near Pecan Grove with more on what they're doing to adapt to distancing while dining. Jonathan. Yeah, guys, starting tomorrow when you come to the restaurant and you walk through those doors right there to get your food, you can expect to be separated a little bit more than normal. Of course, that is social distancing, and that is just one of the protocols in place to help keep people safe. Tomorrow's a new day. The chalkboard's clean. We're starting from scratch, really. Preparing to finally reopen his dining room, Steve Onstead, the owner of the Swinging Door Barbecue Restaurant in Richmond, is looking forward to Friday. Trying to follow all the rules and protocol and, and see where this takes us. After weeks of the dining area being closed because of stay-at-home orders, phase one of the governor's plan to reopen the state will get underway with stipulations for restaurants. They can only operate for dining at 25% capacity and must maintain social distancing practices. Wipe, clean, sanitize. That's what we do. We always practice that in the restaurant business, but we're doing it on steroids now. And they're far enough apart from all of these. This Matt Bryce over at the Federal American Grill in Hedwig Village is also taking extra precautions. With safety measures posted at the entrance, he's also making sure tables are six feet apart, no parties are larger than six people, and workers are sanitizing every seat when customers leave, among other things. When you walk in here, you see the gloves and the mask. You see that the bathroom attendant is there, and you see that we're using the paper menus. The restaurant actually opened for dine-in last week, defying county and state orders, but Bryce says with several measures in place, he felt confident he could operate safely. I'm asking everybody, how do you feel? And they're like, wow, you're going over the top because we are distance. While it won't be business as usual just yet, business owners are just glad to be getting back to some sense of normalcy. I'm looking out for my staff, myself, and my customers because if they get sick, I don't have a business either. Now, this restaurant, along with most of them across the state, again, will only operate at 25% capacity as it pertains to dining in. However, the one that we profile, the other restaurant over at Hedwig Village, he tells us, Bryce specifically, that he will still only be doing reservations only at his establishment. By reporting live tonight from Richmond, I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.